Hey, good morning everybody. This is Scott. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're the first time here, uh, my wife and I run uh, an online eBay business. We buy and sell things and hopefully uh, make a profit on them. So yesterday, I had an opportunity to pick a couple of closets, just a couple of closets. And the amount of stuff that is in front of me right now in my living room is absolutely stunning. So hang around and I'll give you a tour of what we got. Okay, so I'm going to start with some of the things that are closest to me, and I will just work my way around the room. So uh, let's take a look at some of the cool things that we have. This haul is massive enough that I can't possibly share it all with you in one video. It would take a lot of videos. So, but I am going to start and show you some of the things that I think are definitely cooler. So this haul had a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. Let me share with you some of the things that we have. This is um, lights for a Christmas tree. This goes on the ground. I don't think those little records are any good. They look like they got too hot. Uh, but they might be um, because they're, they don't actually pay on grooves. They pay on the little, the, those right there, hit the holes and play the music. So I might be able to get that to work. I'm going to move that out of the way. This is uh, another one, and this one just almost doesn't look used in there. I haven't had an opportunity to test these yet, but, but we will. This may be the coolest thing that I picked up yesterday. Nah, it's not, but it's super cool. This is a pom-pom royal pine tree. And it is the all-aluminum variety. And if you take a look at this, it is still wrapped up. It has probably been used, um, but it's the Christmas trees that the whole thing looks like that. And... Depending on the condition and the size and the brand, these can go upwards of $500 to $800. That one was sold by Woolworth in Dallas. Super cool find. As I go around the room, I won't detail everything. There was a lot of vintage plush that I don't know much about. There was... Um, Oh, I do have this Cabbage Patch Kids, but I don't know anything about those at all. That's really going to take me some research. And uh, I got some more dolls, and I won't detail all of those. But that guy right there. Now, let's see if I can set him up here where you can take a look at him. That is... A paper mache horse. It's got some leather ears. Um, the legs are wooden, and you can tell that they built the paper mache on top of that. He's old. I don't know exactly how old. And but that is probably that's probably my favorite find. I don't know, I have no idea what that's worth. There was a there was a box of scarves in there which I haven't taken I haven't even looked at those yet I did look through I did look through some of the vintage ties and don't know much of uh, there weren't brands that I immediately recognized but there's some cool stuff there and ties are so easy to, to list I picked up these. There was a few of them. And like most of the things that we buy, there will be a lot of research that I have to do to see if they're worth anything at all. 
obviously quite old. I think that's just... Got a couple of those. And this was an interesting box. I turned on a light. Hopefully it'll show a little better. These are all glass. And none of them appear to be broken. They do appear to be weathered. I don't know if that light is helping or not. I think my phone adjusts pretty well. They almost look hand blown to me. This box was torn up as well and it is full of vintage Christmas wreaths. Uh, I did go through this box. The ones with the red are in great shape. There is a different brand on the bottom and uh, those have completely disintegrated. So uh, well, I'll just have to figure out what to do with those. More Christmas tinsel, things like that. A lot of this is in terrific shape. Here's another Christmas one made by Noma. It the Star of David for Christmas tree topper. Still have to test all of these. I don't think this kind of stuff is old, but I still picked it up. My niece is like the, uh, you know, playing with beads and making jewelry and things like that. So we will probably give all of this to them. These glass beads here were kind of neat. In this tub, or in this Ikea bag, this is Eeyore and... Winnie the Pooh, both of them lost their eyes. Got some bug holes. Those are, I think, those are from the 1940s. <laughs> These are some, there's a couple of handmade purses. But look at this one. Let's see if I get a little bit better light. Look at the embroidery on this. The whole sack is burlap. That's super neat. Uh, we got some things like that. Still in the package. I do really well with vintage night clothes and things like that. There is a whole mess of slides, and they go way back. That is New Mexico in Taos, and that's 1956. But there's probably, I don't know, 50 of those magazines in there. And there's a, a whole other box of them and another tray of them. So I've probably got 100 or 200 of them. There are things like this right here. And this has a pull string. It's gilded, which the little bit of research we've done, the, I think the gilded ones are the ones that actually sell. Boy, it's not focusing very well, but hopefully you'll be able to see that. I got a couple of those. Oh, let's see. All right, here's my Cabbage Patch Kid. He still has his uh, birth certificate and adoption papers. I don't know a thing about him. I think this one's 1985. So, I'm, my guess would be $30 or $40 for something like that, but we'll find out for sure before we get rid of it. Oh, 
there were some there were some men's suits in there most of these are from the 60s um this one i will point it out but not for the reason you think so this right here uh it's a cool suit um sanger harris was a high-end store in dallas uh, three pieces kind of uh 1970s look i don't know if the suit is worth anything but that wooden hanger right there that wooden hanger i have sold the fool out of those the oxford hangers um normally i get 20 to 25 dollars a piece on those so i'll be able to sell that and a few more of the 1970s suits and i'll go through them carefully this Let's pop this up where you can kind of see it. Is a fishing creel purse. And I would guess 1950s to 1960s. Most of this stuff was 50s and 60s and into the 70s out of those two closets. This is a Whimsy doll. That's the brand. I'll see if that'll show for you. She is 1960, and I'll have to clean her little clothes up and see if I can't make her look a little better, but that should be $50 to $75. There were more dolls like this right here. She's got a hand-painted face and a tag. With a tag, I should, and she... One of the things we've learned about dolls is you're looking for the amount of detail. And on the handmade ones like this, where there's several layers of the clothing that are complete, um, that might be that might be worth listing, and we'll see. Uh, there's a, a few women's clothes in there. They're not none of those were were really any good at all. There were a couple of just gigantic dolls that I have to figure out exactly what they are. I don't see a name on them. And I think they're a little older. I think they're going to be 70s anyway. And it looks to me like this guy's wearing a yarmulke. So that might be a clue. That'll take a little bit of, of research. Clothes this time were, were not spectacular. This one will need... Uh, definitely going to need some cleaning on it and I may try and clean that at home here's the tag for that I think that says carapan it's it's hand embroidered hand woven um, just spectacular piece this kind of stuff I love That's, I just love that uh, there was an entire um, boxes and boxes of old linens and uh, this one had a bunch of these uh, inexpensive clothes in it that uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with yet let me pop to some of the boxes underneath it oh, there are some scrapbooks and because these were world travelers uh, some of the scrapbooks and photo albums are just super interesting in this box, all textiles, um, some of them very cool. There's a bunch of vintage aprons in this one, too. If you saw even glimpses of my living room, it, it looks like burglars broke in here, went through all my stuff, decided they didn't like it, and left. <laughs> so I've got a lot of work to do. Um, but I appreciate you being here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.